In terms of my presentation today, really, it, it's captured in a, um, in a quote that's often used, the best of times, the worst of times, and that really is uh, the reality of Western Australia's economy today. When we look at the best of times, we have endless opportunities. That there are the worst of times, and the worst of times are the downside effects of rapid expansion and investment. Uh, and you only have to look at the cost pressures that are being faced by businesses across the state today, as well as some of the policy challenges that are really limiting and holding back uh, the potential growth and, and development of the state uh, over the next uh, few years and beyond. When you look at the markets, clearly there are, they have fallen. Australia's share market has fallen by about 12% over the last quarter, uh, which is uh, similar trends being emerged in other major bourses around the world, but not um, anywhere near as sharp in, as in some. There is high uncertainty and volatility in markets. It's nothing like what we experienced during the global financial crisis. So we have to put that into context. Yeah, sure, there are some uh, challenges being faced today in the global environment, but it's nothing like what we experienced during the global financial crisis. But uh, clearly the origins of, uh, of the issue are debt. And uh, you can see that heightened levels of debt. A lot of debt has been nationalised uh, as a consequence of the global financial crisis. And, uh, and there are examples of the levels of debt that exist in Europe, the United States and, and Japan. What that has meant uh, with high, uh, high levels of debt is that uh, uh, it has impacted on growth in those European economies in particular. But compare that against what's happening in Asia. And you look at growth rates of uh, over 35% in India, over 30% in China. And Western Australia stands out like a beef in, uh, in relation to other developed countries or jurisdictions around the world experiencing uh, very strong growth in aggregate since the global financial crisis. Overall, uh, CCI, uh, we remain optimistic about the future for the state. We project uh, this state's economy over the next few years will average growth rates of over 6.5%. That's very strong growth. That's growth that you'd expect in developing economies rather than developed economies. Well, over $250 billion worth of investment that's either under construction or committed to or under consideration in this state. And that pipeline of activity will form the basis and the, uh, and the catalyst for very strong growth over many years to come. Clearly the Pilbara region is going to be the key driver of that growth profile. We need to lift our productivity levels so that we can absorb the competitive pressures that come with a rising Australian dollar uh, more easily and, uh, and ensure that those opportunities are realised. I apologise for going a minute or so over, but uh, thank you for your time.